<laughs> Hello, hi, I'm Rebecca Legon and I've just summited Mount Kilimanjaro. I'm really, really excited. It's been an absolutely fantastic and challenging experience. I've met some wonderful people and the guys, they've all looked after us absolutely fantastically. Sam and his boys have been awesome and yeah, I've really enjoyed myself. Thank you for having me in Tanzania. We have had the most wonderful time. It has been tough, very, very tough. There have been tears, there has been laughter, but we, we have conquered and, and we are really, really pleased that, that, that it's finished. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to kind of hopefully inspire other people with um, disabilities that they can to achieve their dreams and hopefully many people out there who think that they can't do certain things that maybe they will want to you know try climbing Kilimanjaro maybe as well so yeah. Kuna mtari anaitwa Aaron Philip yeye ni mwingereza alipanda mlima Hana, mig, hana miguu lakini ana miguu bandia. Kwa alitumia wheelchair kupanda nani mlima Kilimanjaro mpaka Kileleni. Na yule kwa mwaka 2017 lakini pia tunaye Swedish anaitwa Aaron Anderson yeye naye ni mlemavu kabisa wa nani wa miguu pamoja na mikono aliweza kupanda mlima Kilimanjaro la yeye alikuwa na basikeli ya miguu mitatu kwa hiyo aliweza kuendesha ile basikeli ya miguu mitatu mpaka kwenye kituo cha Kibo alipofika pale kituo cha Kibo aliweza kutambaa kama nyoka akafika mpaka kileleni lakini alikuwa amejifunga mablanketi akisaidiwa na hao wasaidizi mpaka akafika kileleni na kushuka lakini pia tunaye mama anaitwa Caroline na amewahi kupanda mlima. Huyu mama alikuwa na tatizo la miguu pamoja na mikono na ana pafu moja. Lakini ameweza kupanda mlima Kilimanjaro na kafika mlimani. Every step of the way has been a challenge. We mustn't forget those that we've lost along the way, seven of them with severe disabilities, but their challenge wasn't to get to the top, it was to get as further as they can. Mm. And what they have proven is that disability doesn't really exist. It's about adaptation, it's about a mindset, and it's about continuing to fight the cause. We think it's really important for disabled people to to be inspired and, and to look beyond their disability yeah. and, and live the life that they want to live yeah. and not be confined by their disability, not to let the label become them, but to achieve whatever they can and to be as fulfilled as they possibly can. So I think we, we share very, very similar values. Yeah.